So as soon as I understood that the implant was failing, I felt devastated, crushed, depressed. You can't please your significant other. You can't please your wife. You feel like you're, you're, you're not a man anymore. So I'm from Canada. I'm 35 years old. I had an implant put in after basically complete impotence when I was 21 years old and a revision surgery when I was 23 years old. And my implant started to fail about two months ago. That's kind of a dark story. So I was very young. I had an injury when I was about 16 years old uh, during sex. My first thought was I'm way too young to be having this issue. My second thought was it's, it's whatever year it was, say 2010 or something like that. You know, there has to be some fix for this. There has to be some easy fix. And there wasn't. So when I went to my urologist the first time, and he prescribed Viagra, and it did nothing. And he prescribed Cialis, and it did nothing. And then after those didn't work, he tried shots, and nothing worked. And I had basically a mental breakdown, and I, I begged the urologist to give me an implant. And he said, well, we usually don't do it for somebody your age, because I was 21 at the time. But he gave in, and he, he, did the, uh, he did the implant. So that's how I got the first implant. So as soon as I understood that the implant was failing, I felt devastated, crushed, depressed. Uh, you feel like you're, you're, you're not a man anymore. You can't please your significant other. You can't please your wife. You can't do all the functions that you're supposed to have and supposed to do as a man. You just feel like you're, you're letting them down. You're disappointing them. You know, sorry, I can't, I can't, I know you want this. I can't, I can't give this to you. I, I've fallen short as is my part of my duties as, as a man to you. So one of the first results that showed up in Google when I googled uh, penile prosthesis, urologist, surgeon, not even South Korea but just in the world, he was one of the first ones that popped up. And there was quite a bit of published information about him and where he studied and how many surgeries he's done and I was impressed right away. I, Actually, at first, I didn't believe that it was real. I, th I thought it was fake. I thought I was going to send my money to South Korea, and then it was done, right? But I was desperate, so I went for it, and I'm glad I did, because it's real, obviously, uh, and, and I'm very happy I did. But that's basically how I found Dr. Park in the first place, was just a quick search. I was convinced that he was one of the best, if not the best, in the world, and I was confident in him doing the surgery. You don't have to worry about anything. Everything that I need has been given to me from the clinic. And any concerns that I've had have been addressed by you immediately, any time that I've asked. So language barrier was never an issue in the beginning. My overall experience was this is, this is the most professional medical experience I've ever had. I've had many other surgeries back in Canada. And um, not to put medical teams or doctors down, there down, but this is not what I expected. This is much better than what I expected. I've had, it's the third day or the fourth day after surgery, I think it was, I had no pain. That's not something that I experienced with my original prosthesis or the revision surgery. And I, I almost still can't believe it. Um, so I was very scared about pain and I was very scared about, because it was a revision surgery, having the spinal anesthesia and being awake. But I was well taken care of and um, now I see that there was nothing to worry about. So it was extremely important. Probably, as a man, like I said, at 35 years old, that's one of, if not the most important things in my life. Like you, can't, you can't live without it as a man. If you're 60 years old, 70 years old, it might be a little bit different, but as a 35-year-old, you cannot live without it. You can't function in life. It's definitely life-changing because even for those two, three weeks that my old prosthesis was failing, I went to a dark place. I got depressed. It's, it's devastating. It's crushing. You can't function. It's all you think about at work. It's all you think about when you're going about your day-to-day -day life. It's all you think about when you look at your partner that I can't, I love this person, but I can't please them. I can't be intimate with them. So having this surgery and having everything go so well so far gives me a lot of confidence, gives me my life back. It, that's basically what it, what it did. It gave me my life back. Yes, go and seek out a urologist, and if it turns out that you end up needing a prosthetic, don't mess around. Don't go with universal health care and wait for that surgery because it's free. Go with the best, and even if it costs you money, this is your, your life. You know, this is your, your mental health. This is your stability, right? You're not going to go through life with 
a half working penis and Dr. Park knows what he's doing. So do your research, don't take my word for it and pull the trigger even if it, it costs you money it's you get what you pay for and you get what you pay for with Dr. Park. He gave me my life back.